What's up, y'all? So, I have did it. I officially beat Smell the Ring, a.k.a. Smell. I mean, Elden Ring. <laughs> All right, cool. Now, y'all was right. I should have never made that video. And I'm dishing out an apology to all the Elden Ring fans. I should have, like... Freak that! Freak y'all! Freak y'all! Freak the community! Freak Elden Ring! It's not Game of the Year! How about that, huh? Huh? Yeah! Yeah! Like, y'all really thought I was gonna sit there and glaze y'all? Hold on. I got some more stuff. I beat the game, and I got some more stuff to come at y'all for. Watch this. So, listen. What is with the terrain, bro? The terrain is ass. Why do I gotta go to Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, come back to Barney, and sing some ABCs, ring around the rosy up in here like we Pokemon Go, to get to a mountain that I see right in front of me? I can... If I had five or seven jumps... I can make it to different parts of the stages, right? The terrain is ass. The way how they built it is just ass. It's like they compose like a whole land and they like the game doesn't even know what they was trying to build. Like, what the hell? Like, why is the terrain in the land like that? Like, who builds a terrain that looks broken up? And then when you try to go to a different place that you see, I see that I can jump. If I had a third jump, I can make that to the other mountain. But for me to make it to the other mountain, I got to go all the way down. I got to go all the way down. I got to go up someone's ass, in and out, and all that. Like, get out of here, bro. That's some bull. And then you got the audacity to say that I need to get good. Listen, professionals, you need you need you need to clean your ears because listen, yeah, you guys stink. You guys don't take showers. Your breath probably hot. You, you smell like salty Pringles out of here because y'all Elden Ring is the only game y'all play. Let's be real. And the same people that was coming at me in the comments, y'all the reason that I can't have my friend go into a game with me and help me because y'all want to sit there, make a broken ass builds, hop in, invade someone, and then mess up their journey when they're just trying to play the game. You, Elden Ring community, not the entire Elden Ring community, you, the professionals, the jackwads that came at me in the comments, you guys are the reason why the game sucks. You guys, if I'm trying to bring my friend so he can help me in my adventure, why the frick is this person coming out of nowhere invading me? Frick the invaders. The invaders should be turned off. They should have a mode that no invaders come in. Simple as that. No debate. It's a fact. And anyone who tries to, like, say, I'm not know what I'm talking about. You just needed to get good. Frick that. Listen, I learned how to play the game, and I still had to use YouTube videos. How do I get this smithing stone? How do I get this bell bearing? How do I do this? How do I get to this place? How do I do this? Listen, right after you um beat the guy that was at the castle, right? I think his name is Margot, right? Right after you beat that dude, um, I did. I beat him, right? And then they teleported me, and I had to use a YouTube video because I didn't know where I was going. And I, in like, endgame. I'm endgame, and I didn't know where I was going. So, I had to use a YouTube video. And that was, like, probably the 60... I've watched 65 videos on Elden Ring, y'all. Yeah. Am I ashamed? Yes. I'm ashamed that I had to waste my time on YouTube when I should be playing the game. The game needs to be incorporated that I get on my horse. Y'all said get on your horse and just run, right? That's what I did. I got on my horse and I found nothing. Dust, desert, sand runes, nothing. You know what? I even had to use a video to get out of Radon. When I fought Radon, how the hell do you exit Radon's castle? Huh? Explain, y'all. I went to Radon and I tried to get to the exit. I found me a secret dungeon and that dungeon didn't take me back to spawn. Then I see all these notes in the water and I'm just like confused. I'm just like, wait. How did you guys get your stone tablets on the water? Can I walk on water? What is this? Are we in are, are, are we in those times? I can walk in water? I'm superhuman. Wow. I walked on water. Delph. Oh, you gotta read the tablets on the water. You gotta read. You gotta read the notes if you don't know what you're talking about. Shut up. Shut up. Like, shut up. You stink. You barely... You know what? The people who play Elden Ring and say it's a masterpiece and don't acknowledge its flaws, you guys literally don't touch grass. I don't touch grass. Because the game gives you grass. That's why you like the game. You like the game because the game gives you grass. And you get to touch many grasses. You got one in underground that looks like a damn spaceship down there. You got an underground cave that is beautiful looking. And it's like, wow. 
I really explored the world. Wow. Like, bro, hell no. And the game is trying to be realistic, but have unrealistic hitboxes. Make that make sense, bro. What are these bosses doing? They're doing unrealistic things. It's like the bosses have more screen time than my playtime. What do I mean by that? Why am I just jabbing them? I have cool attacks. I have cool weapons. Let me do more hits. Let me combo that dude. Why is the boss doing his whole moveset and I got to sit there, poke, run, poke, dodge, run, poke, dodge, run. That's the game. And y'all hyped that up. Y'all hyped up the game for just doing that. I have to poke, dodge, run, poke, dodge, run, poke, dodge, run, incantation, poke, dodge, run. Why am I doing that entirely? It's annoying. I can't pull out my secret move. I have secret jutsus. I have fireball jutsus. I have other things I want to use, but I got to sit there, dodge all the bosses stuff, and I can't even use my whole entire arsenal. So for the people who want to keep on hyping up Elden Ring, explain that, y'all. Explain that in the comments. Why the freak does the bosses have more screen time than my kit? Your whole equipment, you would never be able to use your full equipment. And don't say, oh, you will be. You, you just got to stun him and do all that. Why do I got to wait for him to be stunned? I should at least pull out a decent one combo, just like how he's doing. But that dude has somehow, they got infinite stamina. That's cool. Listen, I'm not complaining. I'm complaining that I got to sit there and watch this dude like I'm watching some backyard against... What is this, a Nickelodeon TV show? Let me fight. I'm tired of seeing Radon's freaking moveset. I'm tired of seeing the first Elden Lord's moveset. I am tired of seeing their movesets. We get it. You're cool. You're jacked. You're awesome. Cool. Move on. Let me let me fight him. Don't let me come in there. I got to play like a whole puss the entire match. The whole entire game, you're playing like a puss. And whoever the, disagrees, you guys, should don't, you guys shouldn't play video games anymore. You guys should delete your console, delete your Discord channel, everything that's pertaining to you because you don't understand how to play video games. Therefore, you don't deserve to be in a community of gaming. It's, it's that simple. What is everybody doing when you fight a boss? Y'all backing up. One tapping domes, and then you're rot dodging everything else. Don't sit here and tell me the game is all fun and games. When you got to sit there and look at bosses the entire game, the game gets boring. Just because the bosses are doing some crazy cool stuff doesn't mean the game is good. No, no, no. I seen games that looked good, like Dragon Ball Sparkling Soda that I ranted on a couple of... Uh, uh, there's a video. Yeah, yeah. I ranted on that game, which I got to do an update to that. Yeah, they look good. It looks very good, but I guarantee it's going to play ass. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Same thing with Smothering. Now, y'all want to be realistic, right? Let me ask you a question, right? How come the bosses that drop the Asher Wars, right? They're all cool. They're out here jumping in water. They're out here jumping in the air and doing some crazy stuff, right? When I get the Ash of War, I'm not doing any, any of the jumping of the... In the air. I ain't jumping nowhere. Why does the boss's Ash of War looks different from the Ash of Wars that they drop? And tell me why the drop rates of getting the boss's stuff low. Huh? Explain. And as a beginner and as a newcomer, this game is still atrocious. Don't don't sit here and say, no, 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 no. This game is still atrocious for newcomers. Why? Why in the world am I still having to go to YouTube. You guys can't explain that. I'm sitting here looking at the Elden. The Elden Beast was a cool fight. I actually got to fight him and pull out my whole arsenal on that dude. Yes! The only boss fight that I had, that I could pull out my whole arsenal on was the final boss. Game sucks. Ass. Besides all of that, the game is pretty good. It plays decent. Once you know what you're doing, you're pretty good. You might need like four to five YouTube videos. If you don't want to sit there and watch YouTube videos, Elden Ring is not the game for you, y'all. If you don't have people holding your hand and telling you what to do, Elden Ring is not for you, y'all. That's it. And I, I say this for me. Elden Ring is not for me, bro. Once I conquered it and I understand it, it's like, oh, okay. But I'm still acknowledging that it's, it has its flaws, but it has its great moments too. Elden Ring also has good moments. But it's more gameplay from the boss's standpoint than my own. And that's what I'm trying to say. Then 
we got the runes. We don't even earn enough runes for us to keep upgrading and keep going to these bosses. So it's kind of like we're limited to what we can do. I get it. The game is hard. It's a whatever company's game. That's cool. But don't sit here and act like it's a game of the year when the damn bosses are doing better attacks. Their actual wars look nothing like what I'm doing. And the moves that they got, they only give us a fraction of what they have. We don't get some of the moves that they got. The best moves that they give, the best moves that we see when we fight them, we don't get that. They give us like a, it's like the developers was like, hey, we're going to give you half, we're going to half-ass the Ash of War for you, okay? You see how, you know, um, Godric is like spinning his staff around and then he jumps up and then he does that kick? We're only going to give you the spin around the staff. We're not going to let you jump up in the air and like kick us with, with like wind. What are you talking about? That's the whole Ash of War. The Ash of War should come in a full package, not a half-ass package. Thank you very much. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next rant. Peace.